I was born in Ironbridge in Shropshire. And my parents brought me to Dudley when I was a child, really. I was only about eight or nine. I started sketching, you see, at a very early age. But as I got into my teens, I realised just what an in interesting, even dramatic place the black country was, uh, insofar as the, the factories, the smells from the factories, the furnaces, the glows in the sky from the furnaces of steelworks such as Bensby Tube, there was uh, all sorts of steel. The one in particular was round oak steelworks because even today people used to talk about the skies, you know, and they opened up the furnaces at round oak in Briley Hill. And when I was at, well, in my teens, uh, it just registered with me all the, 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 even the beauty of these places. I mean, people say, well, you know, how can the black country be beautiful when they see it through different eyes, you see? I look at it differently to these people. I see beauty in the canals and the reflections in the canals. I see, probably see things that other people don't notice, you see. So I had a uh, desire to draw them down originally with pencils. Then I went on to uh, oil paintings. Now all my work now is oil paintings because I can get a, uh, an effect in oil, you see, that I can't get with any other medium. I'm always looking for something new as long as it's linked to the black country, you see. Obviously the castle, the black country museum and things like that. Most of my work is probably, uh, you could uh, register it around about, say, the 1950s. This, uh, on some of my works, you see, I've got the old-fashioned trolley buses. But I'm not impressed by modern buildings, modern factories, modern uh, trading estates. I'm not impressed at all, but I am impressed with the old, the old engineering companies, you know, belching out steam and power and things like that. That's what interests me and that's what grabs me. That's probably why my work always seems to be from the 1950s. Obviously, I've changed things around a bit. And sometimes I'll go into the library and I'll find old black and white pictures and use those as an idea or as, an, a, basis, as a basis of what I want to do. You see, when I, when I first left school, I went to work at a printer's, uh, and I had to go to Wolverhampton Art School as part of the, the printing course, because I actually wanted to be a printer when I was a kid. And it was, um, it took in commercial art, it was all part of the printing course, you see. But I, 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 did, I did that for, I suppose, a couple of years. And then I drifted into engineering. And I was in engineering up until my 60th birthday. This was when I retired at 60 so that I could concentrate on my paintings, you see. So that's what I did. I, paint, I, I always wanted to paint, but never paid the bills. I'm doing something now that I've always wanted to do. I'm just worried sometimes. You know, when, when anything finally happens to me, you know, uh, people are still going to appreciate my work. What I'd like to, is for people to look at my work, even when I'm gone to the studio in the sky. <laughs> I would hate to think that it would end a picture of mine would end up, say, took behind somebody's wardrobe or settee or whatever. I want to see them on the walls.